Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Dave here today doing something a little bit different, some pickups and kind of a PSA reveal. This is an order I actually got back months ago, right as I was moving and just never had time to film. There are some sick cards in here that I really wanted to show. So uh, let's get to it. I'm gonna jump off with the pickups I've had. Um, go. Okay, so this, I actually mentioned this card in a recent video but i pulled this from a hanger and it is really clean looking i think i haven't uh given it the full magnifying glass treatment but i think it definitely uh, might be a psa candidate so uh, the next one i have been on a die cut and a super short print case hit kick um that is what this is this i got off com c for just under a hundred dollars uh, throwback to the, I think it's like 97, 98 uh, Noise Boys insert. Um, Kobe has one of these. It goes for thousands and thousands of dollars. So I saw this Aaron Rodgers and really wanted to pick it up. So. Oh, this next one, one of my favorite. This is from the basketball version of this product, 2011-12 uh, Fleer Retro. Yeah, 11-12 Fleer Retro. Big man on the court, LeBron James. I got this at auction and will be sending it off to PSA to be graded. So. And next one, okay. Boom. Uh, LeBron James Meteor. Uh, this is from 2016-17 Aficionado. Uh, this, I believe, is a case hit. Uh, PSA has only graded 13 total of this card across all parallels and only three LeBrons have been graded. So across all players, not parallels, excuse me. Um, so a very hard to find card. And I you know, thought it was pretty cool. The meteor's falling in the back and my boy LBJ right there. So uh, and then this last one, boom. Uh, I actually found this at a flea market. Uh, this is a Triumvirate card uh, that's from Stadium Club. You can see it says it uh, right there, Triumvirate. And this is actually the Atomic Refractor. I got this for about $45. This is another one that uh, very, very few of these. I'll try and look up the pack odds because I know back in the day they did put that on there. But I know that this one, uh, not a common card. So... I believe you might hear the neighbor's dog barking in the background. Boom! Uh, I got this at an eBay auction. Uh, this is a case hit from 2016 Panini Studio. It's a rock solid die cut. This one is just so clean. So you look, this bottom gold border can always get chipped. Those letters right there are also all gold. And this one, there are no issues whatsoever. Uh, I didn't see any whiting. Uh, this was a pop 18. So I thought I got this for an absolute steal at 380. Let me know in the comments what you all think. Did I overpay? Is that a good deal? Um, I have it online for a pretty obscene number, but honestly, I kind of just want to keep something like this. So uh, now uh, into the PSA reveal. Uh, I have had these cards back for a long time. Um, I just oh, throwing them. Uh, did not get around to doing a reveal, but uh, you'll see there are some absolute monsters in here. So stick around and let me know what you think. Boom. So this was uh, the worst grade in the order, um, an eight. It's a Luca out of, sorry for the glare, out of 99. Um, really cool card. I'm, I'm going to be resubbing this one because I think this should easily get a nine. I honestly did not see any issues, so I have no clue. Uh, where it got an eight from. And then more, I got I got some uh, hate in the last PSA reveal for my Drew Lock obsession, but don't worry, it's not over. Uh, <laughs> Drew Lock, red, white, and blue, got a nine. Uh, these are, I had these all out at a show. Obviously they didn't sell, but I left the price tags on. If you aren't interested in any of these, uh, hit me up on IG. Uh, I will, uh, or check out my eBay. These, a lot of these are for sale. Uh, Drew Locke, Donruss, nine. LeBron James, Prism Base, nine. Ooh, 
Here's one of the big ones, a Net Marvels Luka Doncic. Bang, that one did manage to pull the 10. It is well centered, uh, minimal chipping along that bottom edge. That's one place you always wanna look on these and it did manage to pull the 10. So that was one I was really stoked about. Uh, same LeBron James Net Marvels. Uh, if you look, just a touch of white on that corner and it did get the nine. So very well centered though. All right, Anthony Davis Chronicles Prism Update. Nine, I am absolutely upside down on this card. I paid 20 to grade it and I'm pretty sure I paid about $100 for the card raw. So uh, not one of my better buys, that's for sure. Uh, this one, these have absolutely plummeted. Uh, these second year 2019 Prism Luca parallels of his card. This is the Ruby Wave, and it did get a nine. So, all right, this this is, in my opinion, the biggest card I own. Uh, maybe next to my Kobe uh, one of one uh, printing plate uh, uh, that is of the Angel Wings, the 2012 Crusade. Uh, this is a silver, if you notice the prism right there, of the first year select, Aaron Rodgers. And bang, that thing managed to pull a 10. You like that? You like that? Just crazy. This card is a pop six. Uh, for anybody who's new, you know, degrading their cards, that means that uh, all the cards that PSA is graded, which isn't a lot, there are only six PSA 10s. Um, a Brady recently sold, I believe it's only a pop three or four, but uh, I messaged the seller, he ended up getting $9,000 for the Brady. Obviously, Brady Rogers, totally different beast, but it tells me this would at least be, you know, $2,000 card, something in that neighborhood, but absolutely gorgeous shine on that, and uh, one I will definitely hold on to until I get the right offer. So, we have the Anthony Davis. This was a Fantasy Stars. This is the Gold Wave parallel. Did pull a nine. Cool card. Drew Locke. This is out of Father's Day, I believe, or National Convention. Okay. And this is numbered out of 25. I think it did get a nine as well. And then this is, I believe, the Drew Lock Green Pulsar. Another nine. So, notice the trend. That is way OC. So, that's why. That's always where I check on these. See, those two should be about even. Yeah, clearly way off center. All right. Uh, and there were a lot more cards in this order, but it's been two and a half months, so a lot of them have been sold. Uh, Zion, Prison Base. Got a nine. I oh, was really, really hoping this one uh, would pull the nine, but uh, it did, in fact, get an eight. So I got that off Prom C. Would have been way better off just selling these raw and holding on to them uh, when his stuff really spiked, but you know, that's how it goes. Uh, this is one I picked up raw for like, like 50, 60 bucks way, way back in the day. Uh, this is out of honors. It is the score update, Calvin Ridley. It's number one of six, and bang, that is a pretty pretty big Calvin Ridley card. Uh, so, got the PSA 10. And these, uh, these cards actually have tons of condition issues, which I wouldn't have expected because they do come encased um, by, by Panini. Right, and we have the Chronicles uh, Crusade Silver. I believe I actually pulled this one. So, uh, boom, really cool to see that one get a 10. Uh, nice shine on that, but uh, these these are, you know, not common, but certainly not uncommon. And then one of my favorite cards, I actually had two of these in this order, the uh, Patrick Mahomes Heroes, and they both got 10s. Uh, I already sold one right around $200. Um, and this is a really cool insert. I always expected this to take off like net marbles and it just has not, did not. So um, definitely a cool, cool Mahomes though. All right. And we have a Luca Hometown Heroes. This is the blue parallel. 
numbered out of 99. And this one, it's a few off from Jersey. Oh no, 23. So, yeah. One of one. Um, boom, that one did get a blue. This had like some surface. Let's see if we can't really see it. Almost looked like it had surface like bubbles on it, but uh, regardless, it did come back a nine. Color match is really cool on that one. And then the last card, I'm gonna finish off with a Kobe. Uh, this is the SP variation from 2014. Yeah, 2014 Prism. And that one did get a 10. So, uh, really, really pretty card there. Rip Mamba. So, just wanted to fly through this with y'all. Uh, really really monster order you know between the ridley and the uh aaron Rodgers first year select some other cool stuff in there uh, let me know what your favorite card was if you are interested like i said a lot of these are up on my ebay or hit me up on ig dave rips cards uh, thanks for watching i will see you all again soon peace